Howdy folks, how are we doing? Today is LED upgrade time. Now you'll know if you've been following me for a while that um, I do like my LEDs. I've, uh, I've upgraded quite a few tractors in the past uh, with LEDs of one sort or another. Um, the latest was in the summer, if you remember at Henry's on the fast track, I put some Thomas LEDs on it and it made a hell of a difference. Um, and that's what we're going to do to this one, our T7210, the older of the two. As you can see, she's fitted with um, you know, standard allergen uh, lights. And the reason we're going to upgrade is because um, you can see up there, edge cutting the other day, that one broke off. So, um, so I decided about time we give her a bit of a birthday and upgrade the LED lights. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I've uh, sent order off to Thomas LED and they should be arriving fairly soon. Um, yeah, the only trouble with these lights on the New Holland here, as you can see there, is there's no plug in the back of the light. I, they're the wired in direct light. So, um, we're going to have to cut the wires and fit plugs to them, which is not the end of the world, but it just makes it a bit more of a, uh, a bit more of a sort of in-depth process, like, you know, rather than just unbolt it, bolt a new one on, plug it in, away you go. We've got to do a little bit of wire as well on these, but, um, yeah, going to get a full set of fronts, so you've got the, the top ones in the cab and the belt line ones, same at the back. Uh, two top ones and two belt lines, they're going to be LED and I'm going to get a few uh, you got the work light ones there, so I'm going to get them as well like, so uh, get them in LED as well so uh, yeah, let's have a look at, uh, at what we've got shall we right the order from Thomas LED is turned up, so let's have a look, see what we've got in the box, shall we? Right, four of these. Let's see what these are. I love a good unboxing, me. Right, well, these are the front uh, work lights. Well, there's four of them, so work lights and probably main beam I can use. Uh, it's on the front of the tractor in the grill there. So we've got four of them. What we got here? Oh, angle brackets and that and swivel so you can adjust all the lights with all them. Um, oh, oh, we've also got the the uh, waterproof connectors here to go into the main work lights and that. Right, now we've got Could all be the same. It does stay in the front, so that's a HB560. So five LEDs, 60 degree field of view on it. You know, it's a nice big chunky heavy light. They do feel, you know, they feel quality bits of kit. And there's the, the little socket for the for the plug, like I was just saying. So put it in back like that. So yeah, it's essentially the same light. It will look the same if I can get uh, into the box. So that's exactly the same looking light, five LEDs on it, but these are slightly different to them in the fact they're a 40 degree field of view. So the beam should be a bit narrower, go a bit further. Um, so obviously you'd have uh, look on the front, you'd have two of the 40s and two of the 60s. So you've got a bit of long range and a bit more wide angle. And like I say, with every one, you get, uh, you get the fly lead that clicks into the back. But um, like I say, we're going to have to put the, um, 
crimp them new connectors on anyway because the tractor hasn't got any on so everything seems to be in order we've just got to get them fitted now and see what they're like Um, super connectors and these these are uh, waterproof connectors let's see if we can persuade this one to work right now I've had a go with one of them and that's gone fairly successful bear in mind I've never used them before so we'll have a look we've got uh, four constituent parts basically we've got the the housing of the plug we've got a rubber grommet there that you your two cables go through you see the little holes and you've got the rubber grommet that end that plugs into the socket keeps it all uh, watertight you've got your two little pins that's the pin that goes in the socket that makes the connection and that is the end you crimp your wire to there and then you've got the little lock-in plate as well sort of thing you get it all together and you push that in locks it all up Put the black one on. So it goes in actually the copper wire actually goes inside the terminal and then you um, crimp the protective sheath. You actually crimp that bit up. Like so. Right. Now you push them through. Just uh, pull that uh, little grommet down a bit so that push into the housing decent. Like so. That grommet's gone home. The little pins are flush with the end of the uh, housing there. Now you put your little green bit of plastic in, like so. There we are, we're done. Right. Open that one up. That's pretty tight anyway. That flicks all the way around like that. Plug our cable in. Uh, plug in. Super smashing. That is the back end done. So uh, what we've got to do now do the same on the front. And I say, is there ones in the bonnet? Do front grill job be a good one. There you go, that's the that's the lights feed. They look smart, didn't they? And here you go, this is where we've got a, a side by side comparison of the two lights. You can see on the right um, with the old halogen bulbs, it was a miserable, miserable night. Um, but it still shows the difference in the light outputs. Um, 
the only difference with the with these two shots is on the uh, on the left hand shot with the new one um, I've got the the two LEDs on in the grill whereas the one on the right with the halogens I haven't got them on because only one of them was working but uh, there you go this shows you even better the light output of the drone uh, just phenomenal the I think there's at least twice as much output of light um, obviously it's a white light which is a lot of folks say it's sort of it's easier on the eye which I think it is it's a better light to um, to, to work by anyway and it gives you much better coverage. I mean, look at the spread of light. I've only got to just adjust um, like the two front lower work lights. Um, you can turn them 90 degrees so you can get lit up all the way around the tractor. And that's just with, um, like I say, two forward facing, two rear facing top cab lights and um, two, two at the bottom as well, you know, two of the midline ones, forward facing and rear facing. If you've got a lot of, um, you know, like a lot of tracks now, they come spec with twins up top, so you can get twins on. Just think of the light output you'll get. Um, pretty impressive. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that I managed to film before and and after. It just shows you the difference. So, um, there you go. Anyway, I did this video call about probably six weeks ago, but I'm just doing the, the voiceover now, um, mid-lockdown, so hope everyone's safe out there, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!